in the book it said, in the first edition it said, you have to eat all the amino acids you need at every meal. You have to combine foods so you have all the amino acids at every meal. All right? So steak and potatoes, rice and beans. There are combinations like this that provide all the amino acids. Is that necessary to be healthy? I haven't had, I haven't had all the amino acids in one meal in 25 years. Fruits have amino acids, but they don't have all of them. Okay? Most foods don't have all of them. So we have to eat a combination of things. But we don't need to eat all of them at one time because they go into the bloodstream, the amino acid pool. The bloodstream is like the warehouse. It's where we warehouse the stuff the body wants to hold on to. And then we take it into the cells when we need it. Is it useful to have 10 or 20 times more of something than we need in the warehouse? Not necessarily. I mean, we might have space issues. If we're talking about actual warehouses, you know, it's, it could be an issue. But it also, even if we had space, now we just have to manage all this stuff. Wouldn't it be easier to have only on hand what we really needed now and have a way to have that coming in all the time? That might be more efficient. That's what's actually happened in a lot of businesses now. Instead of warehousing a ton of stuff, they only keep on hand what they actually need. They need less space. They need less employees. They have to invest less in their stock. It's the same thing in the body. It's more efficient not to warehouse tons of stuff. Okay? And so the fact, you know, it doesn't, doesn't necessarily help us to have tons of B12 in the bloodstream, especially if we're not getting into the cells. That's what's important. Okay? And by the same token, it's not what goes in our mouths. I mean, a lot of people think, well, you just have to eat the right things. A lot of people eat the right things but still have issues because they're not getting it to the cells. Meat eaters eat tons of B12 and have the same rate of B12 deficiency problems as vegans and vegetarians because people eating a lot of fat and protein are far less likely to have their system working very well. 